fully. But I simply see this as a necessary part of justice. For without the rope, society crumbles, binds us up and keeps us safe. Yet the rope offers not just punishment, but salvation. Would you like to be saved, Mr. Fagan? Very much, yes. What do you want? I know in my blood you both stole the gold. Now, if I hang you, I snuff a vagrant no one much cares for of an upstart doctor. I set an example that keeps the brigandry at bay. Gold. I'll convict him and hang him in the marketplace. Do this for the crown. I'll release you now. A full pardon. You will be a free man. Dr. Sneed and leave town by the end of the week. So, you tell her she's dying to trip. What? Dr. Sneed examined her last night and found nothing wrong. Nervous strain. Eleven London doctors examined her supposed fools. Oh, what? Fools who can read. She wants me to operate. I don't know what to do. You stay silent. And you can thank God and my principles. Otherwise, he'd certainly call for your head. Get out. Why don't you tell me about that time you won the Amateur Agricultural for Best Smoke Trout? That's crazy. <laughs> I've lost the ship in a girl so large it doesn't bear thinking of. My wife and daughters think I'm a simpleton. And they're probably right. No. You... You're the dearest man I know. To Whitehall to reside in disgrace. Don't you dare leave me for that freezing misery of a country. Right, Spot? Anyway, they'll probably find the gold. It's a small colony. Someone will splash shigs around. Just don't talk of leaving any, please. salvage your reputation you don't understand but you are being ruined and taken for a fool mother my aorta hmm? unless i have 
have this surgery, it will rupture, and I will bleed to death. Stop it! Just stop it! Won't let you hurt yourself with that man. And you will get me killed. Well, that's the rough end of the feather, that is. No, no, no. It's impossible. I can't see how to save her. You see, the man that feels. Look at this pie. A bit of gristle, but otherwise full of gravy. I'll enjoy it. It'll fill me heart, but then it'll be gone. But knowing that just around the corner will be another pie. You seriously comparing the woman I love to one of Roger? There are times in this life when we're so precious it makes the heart clench just to think of it. Love's frail, don't you? Don't laugh. That's what gives it its pain. But it's also what gives it its shine because of the flickering of a glow. I'm sorry, don't you?
chest. Mr. Tainbridge needs his wound dressing. And Mr. Uttleford's grown horns. Mm. <clears throat> Very good. Jack. Miss Dawkins, Bell just felt there was a man of better quality. Oh, and I'll need your patient list for the handover. When you can. Describe her condition to me. Sounds like a perforated ulcer. Perforated ulcer? Stupid! Bloody top! Not possible. If you could read the medical literature, you'd find no cases in a patient of her age. Sod the literature. Observe the pain. I've been doing quite a bit of observing lately. Dr. Dawkins, on the hand, Dr. Sneed. Snips. How roaringly good to see you. I'm almost proud of you, my dear. No, I didn't. Hear. Isn't it scrumptious? You know, I always thought you was a whiny, mealy flower pot of a kid with nothing in your head but snow, but I haven't. Think back on my time with you and the Dodge with such fondness that I do really see this as a tribute. You awaken something dark and glorious in passion, my genius, for crime. A good master will do that for his apprentice. You see, the only daunting gains is itching to scrag someone for all this polloinery, and I'd just as soon it not be me, so I might be pushed, and I never want to just be pushed to drop a little word about all your perfidious escapades. We're not playing by Clerkenwell rules anymore, F. London. I found these lovely memories. <clears throat> The Crown versus Jack Dawker. Fifteen years for theft. Prisoner escape report for Jack Dawkins. Death warrant for Jack... So if you'd like to whisper about me to Gaines, then I'd have to pass these memories on. As you say, one... It's a goodly motto. One I hold to. Oh, I suspect Beelzy Bub's clutch has come the end of things. God rot you all of a twist. Bones. Oh no, Fagan. God wouldn't do that to an Eton man. Jack! 
curse. On these visions, they don't come for free. There are terms if you don't make a pinger. The saint is very likely to strike you down with her curse. What did they teach you in seminary? I mean, it's not the worst curse. It's not demons out of your bunghole. It's more like this, you know, you're wrecking cough, you're itching boils, and perhaps decorous for a man of the cloth. Worms that crawl up your gut and out through your nose. <coughs> I suppose that must I do. Guide me, brother, in the way of her holiness. Well, I presume you've spoken of her to your congregation. Yeah. Yes, I thought so. flock gathering for a pilgrimage this afternoon. You know, you are the bishop of their hearts, if not in actuality. So I... A pilgrimage? Bless you, brother Fagan, you righteous man of God. Yes, well, he has taken quite a shine. You any more of these? Yes. Damask for the tables. Don't you? Huh? Damask for the tables, of course.
for God's sake, dead we sinners, look up! The dear rustics are blessing our engagement.
just said the best surgeon I've ever... Ladybird. Ladybird. Please, the next time we see this, you I don't think you have enough time... But as you see, I've had to do half the work myself. You bastard! Red-handed! Where's my evidence? We trusted you! Pipers, we in these an escaped convict. There's a death warrant in there. Signed. No need for a trouble. I didn't think you had it in you. Thank you, looking. It's papers for my part. Look at me! It was you or me. I always said it's about number one. And you was always my number one. Her name is Kira. You tried to hang us both. It's innately cruel. I simply see this as a necessary part of justice. Please, help me, Dockett. You can save me. But I... I told you I'd never give you up. Come on. yourself alive. Let's go! Come and get me, you rat bastards! trying to keep you out. Your plan somewhat worked against you, didn't it? That's, that's hopeful. I did that for you. Thank you for making this off. Well, I suppose we just rot here until they send us the next games to hang us. Thank you. 